Hi guys, it's Sebastian here from Noble Frugal Studio, coming at you guys with a video about coloring your animation. So, in the last video, all we did was learn how to use the brush feature, so we're just going to select a frame, and then we're going to draw, and I'm going to just make a ball, you know, falling. Now, what we're going to go over in this tutorial is coloring and onion skinning. So, what that means, onion skinning is basically an animate, animation term for when you get to see the frame, bef the frame before the frame that you're going to draw. So what you got to do in OpenTunes is you have to right click and you're going to scroll all the way down to activate onion skin. Now what this does in OpenTunes, if you go over, come over to the X sheet, is that you have OpenTunes viewing the last three frames. And if you tap these, we can make it view only one frame behind us. It just gives it one little circle. So if you go here, you only view the last frame. And if we click it right here, we view the last two frames. And as you can see, the opacity um, gets lower the farther back the frame is. So we can you can use this for as you know creating and our animations a little bit easier and you know without so much trouble now the two coloring options in open tunes you have is the paint brush and the fill bucket fill bucket is very easy all you have to do is come down here your default color will usually be black you can right click new style and you can use this style editor which will be in a different place for you guys because i kind of dislocated my open tunes in the last tutorial <laughs> but the principle is still the same you can um um, change the color, change the color of your style. And if you guys don't have any of these windows and you're kind of struggling with this, all you have to do is come over to Windows, and then you have all the windows that you need. So right now we're using the um, X sheet, which is the timeline right over here. We have the style editor, which is the colors, and the studio palette, which is um, right here. So, and of course the viewer, which is what we're looking at. So what we can do in OpenTunes is that we have Three times, three types of fill types. We have normal, where you just click and it'll fill. You have rectangular, where you'll do it like this and it'll fill anything within the rectangle. You have freehand, where you can just circle whatever you want filled, which is very useful. And you have polyline, where you can set an area, whereas, and then double click, and then that's where it'll be filled. So I like to use freehand for when um, I use normal and I click and I, oh no, those things on the side aren't filled in. I usually use freehand and you know circle those, and it'll, it'll fill it up very nicely. Now the second coloring option you have in open tunes is the paintbrush, which I discovered um, uh, a little while, a long time ago, but it's very helpful for um, complicated coloring. All you gotta do is just grab it and then just, you know, kind of like a crayon in real life, you just kind of just go in coloring it. Now the problem is it's not as precise, um, depending on your hand. So what you can do is actually to erase the paintbrush, you gotta click click this little zero color right here because the eraser won't get rid of, only gets rid of lines, I believe. So, that's the two ways to color in open tunes, and same thing with the onion skinning. So if you color this entire thing, actually let me use the fill bucket because it's just a little more, it's a little easier. Oh my, that's what I meant. Red, there we go, fill it with red. Onion skinning will show the color of the last frame also. So if you get the last two frames, it will slowly fade away. So you can see guys can, you know, have reference for the frames that you're drawing. So that's pretty much it for coloring and onion skin and open tunes. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.